Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this is a follow up to a story that I did two days ago from Glasgow in relation to the murder of John McGregor. Before I start I want to send my condolences to his family and his friends as well and apologies for any misinformation that the media may have put out there initially. I did state the sources that was quoted in the original video and it seems there was some misleading coverage and I didn't realise that the Daily Record was such a tabloid newspaper. The first thing I want to correct in the previous video was the fact that John McGregor is not associated to the Daniels, he was associated to the Lions. And this information was put out by the Daily Record saying a disagreement from inside of the group, which led myself and I'm sure other people to believe that this was the facts. And this is exactly why I cover the stories to make sure that the stories are told factually and correctly and also to correct any misinformation. So don't forget if any story has any mistakes, contact me at news at scarcitystudios.com and I will correct them as soon as possible. Any video you're not happy with, anything whatsoever, don't hesitate to contact me. The story started when a murder investigation was launched on Saturday night after the father of five was shot down in a street in a deliberate attack in the Milton area of Glasgow. He was left with critical injuries on Thursday evening and passed away on Saturday night and police and paramedics were called to West Tray Street at approximately 5 to 8. A manhunt was underway for the gunman they believe fled in a white Vauxhall Corsa that was found nearby burnt out in Cumbernauld. Detective Inspector Raymond Brown from the Police Scotland's Major Investigations Unit said I want to appeal directly to the community and the wider public who have information that may help. So that was the initial report from the police and the Daily Record has gone on to add a lot of speculation and quotations from people at the scene who are not dealing with the police but have given them quotes. The latest information following the release of his photograph, so there's accusations at the scene that he goaded the killer. And then it's also said at the scene that the shooter's gun jammed before he fired it into the chest of the dad of five. This is reported by the Daily Record, but I've also got reports from other sources that say that he wasn't the target of this attack. Somebody else at the scene told the Daily Record that all hell was breaking loose between two groups at the scene. They said that he kept walking towards the guy and eventually he tried to shoot him and the gun jammed. There was a loud bang and he fell to the floor. And an element that the police will be investigating is an incident that took place an hour earlier where they said that a van crashed into a car on the same street. I can confirm the sources have said that the man in the car was actually associated to the loins and the van was the Daniels. As opposed to what they said initially, the other way round. And the Daily Record go on to say about infighting as well, which again reaffirms this is just one family that are fighting, but this isn't the case. The police have also said there was a machete attack 24 hours before the gunshed, and they believe this may have been associated to it as well. The Daily Record goes on to say that Osman warnings have been handed out which are threats to life, and they have been ordered not to retaliate to any backlash. And finally, it has been reported that a 14-year-old boy was also present in the van at the time of the incident. So this is an ongoing situation, and as I said, I was breaking the news as it come, and I'm glad that people contacted me in order to make sure that we corrected anything that wasn't true. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Thank you for everyone that has joined and subscribed to the channel and followed on TikTok as well. I'll be back again very shortly, and you can get any updates on the website at scarcitystudios.com. Peace.